Um, this is my function generator that I recently built. Um, it's actually just a square rate generator, but uh, it has six different frequencies on this switch here. You can go from 1 hertz to 10 hertz, 100 hertz, 1 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, up to 100 kilohertz. And uh, it's got a BNC connector here that I stripped out of an old uh, switch. And this is just a binary counter little thing, a decade counter and a BCD to seven segment display decoder. And then you can see the binary bits right there on the red LED bar graph display. And over here I've got a digital potentiometer. And uh, the way that works is just imagine a, an analog uh, potentiometer. And uh, you can either go up and down with it, and it's controlled by a series of pulses on the uh, the clock input, which is coming from the function generator. So the basically, at one hertz, it'll uh, decrease or increase on the potentiometer very slowly, um, up to 100 hertz, which is pretty much instant from the minimum to the maximum, whatever. So, um, let's see. flip on the power supply here. And we've got the switches mounted for the different voltages here. And eventually down here, I'm going to have uh, binding posts with uh, banana jacks and um, so that I can go to all my projects. So turn on the 5.5, and as you can see, it's counting. This is 10 hertz, I believe. And uh, let's see, I'll flip on the oscilloscope here. Um, this is, I don't know what I have hooked up right now. Let's see. I think you should be able to see. Um, this is the digital potentiometer, and if I flip this switch, it'll start going up, but it takes uh, a little bit on 10 hertz. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, the LED just is lit up now. And now I can change this to 100 hertz, which you can see is very fast. You can barely see the, the change on the LED display, but you can kind of see it in the binary output. And you can see now, this takes very little time to dim. And like I said, it can go all the way up to 100 kilohertz. And you can see on the oscilloscope, this is uh, the probe is right there um, on the output from the digital potentiometer. And you can see it slowly rise and decrease. And now we can. I'll flip it down to 10 hertz, and you can see it goes up very slowly. And 1 hertz is even slower than that. And also, I'll go ahead and show you the the square wave. Um, let's see. Go to that is um, I believe that's one kilohertz right there, and you can see the output here. And we can go to ten kilohertz. You can see it there. So that's basically it, and uh, feel free to comment and uh, send me your ideas. Thanks.